What's up, Internet? It's your boy, Senior Whoopi, back at you with a new video. It's been a long time. It's been way too long of a time. In fact, that I've misplaced my GoPro camera. I still don't know how to edit with my DSLR, so here we are, filming on an iPhone. Couldn't be happier, though, because I am surrounded by some amazing pickups that I got recently. Uh, these are items that I bought on the day before Black Friday, Black Friday, and one that's very recent, and a Supreme hat that dropped just the week before Black Friday. But yeah, let's start with the hat. I picked this up. This is my first Supreme purchase. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's at Senior Whoopi, uh, you would have already seen this. It's got the 3M reflective Supreme logo there. It's very nice, very nice, but don't like this material, and I don't like the way it feels on the head. The materials are actually, it feels a little cheap, and I'm surprised because it's a Supreme item. It says it's 100% polyester. The Supreme logo, the white balance, is going to be a little off in this video just because I'm filming on an iPhone. Oh yeah, let me tell you, I've got uh, Adidas here. I've got Nike here, I've got Boost, I've got React, I've got Jordans here, and behind me is a Supreme Skateboard. So let's crack into it. I'm going to crack into the boxes that are already open first and I'll go through them as I open them. So I'll start with these two here, this Nike and Adidas box. These were items that I picked up at the King Sport, not King Sport, that's where I live, in the Knoxville Mall, which is I believe the West Town Mall. Uh, the day before Thanksgiving, no, it was the day before Black Friday, which is Thanksgiving. The mall opened at 5 p.m., which was lucky for me because the dinner that I went to with my family ended at 3 p.m., so just spent a little bit of time chilling and went out there. And I, this was my first pickup. I walked into Finish Line first, and I tried on a pair of Ultra Boosts. They were $200, the Orca Ultra Boosts. I was like, damn, these are comfortable. I want these, but... I can't justify spending $200. Then I saw these. These are the Racer Blue Nike Epic React Fly Knits. Retail at $150. And they were on the shelf with a discount because of the sale. I picked these up for $89. And when I tried them on, holy shit. I couldn't resist but to wear them out of the store. And they're not... Are they dirty? I can't really tell. But they've got some 3M on the back there. I've got my lights going right now, so any 3M stuff is gonna be very reflective in this video. But I'm gonna try and keep it here too, not too long. It's got the Nike there. These are so comfortable compared to Boost, which I have a pair of NMDs here, which I wore those. And if I had to compare, I'd go with this one. If you get a chance to buy these for under $100, do it. $150, it's kind of high, unless you got the money to spend on a running shoe like this, but I can wear this with my uh, security guard uniform and be just fine. So, it's now my new all-around work shoe. So comfortable. Love this shoe. All right, moving on to the next one. I picked this up at also the West Town Mall. This was at Journeys. I walked in there and I saw these. These are called the Bucktowns. I was like, what is this? I've never seen this before. It didn't have a little hang tag saying that it was an exclusive product, but I looked online, couldn't find it anywhere, and it is only available at Journeys. Both pairs here. I've already un would all of these, but I'm pulling them out of the box just for the, uh, the showmanship of it. The bottoms of them, kind of a gum bottom. It's kind of a... Not really a wheat colorway, but very tan, and yes, that is hemp, or at least that's what it says it is, and it feels like it. Doesn't really have a smell. I wore these for at least six hours, and they still smell brand new. I really love the uh, the look of these. Now, of course, they're not going to be as comfortable as something like the Nikes, those Epic Reacts, but I have a weakness for a skate shoe silhouette, Nike SBs and things like that. So I really got some Nike SB vibes from this. this is definitely from uh, Adidas' skateboarding line. And it does say uh, Bucktown on the logo there. Let me see if I can pull that out. 
I had to lace these up kind of high. Bucktown. This says Bucktown on there. But I like this green. The black goes really well. Kind of hard to style with anything. But um, I have a pair of pants that match these perfectly, so I wear those constantly. They're actually sitting over there. But yeah, <laughs> might wear those tomorrow. Got some things coming up. But yes, um, now those were my two pickups on Thanksgiving Day. Now, as for things before Thanksgiving Day, it was this the Supreme hat, which was 48 plus shipping. Uh, been monitoring how much they're going for on StockX right now, which there's a lot of things here from StockX, like StockX, and I also like Round 2. Shout out to those stores. If you got a Round 2 in your area, shop there instead of StockX if you can, support the local. But I do not live anywhere near Round 2, so I buy a lot from StockX. Um, but before Black Friday and before Thanksgiving, I got the Supreme Hat, and I also got these Nikes here. This is a pair of Nike Air Max Deluxes. And when I saw um, Sean Weatherspoon talking about his favorite sneakers, this was in his lineup of favorite sneakers. So I was like, okay, I'll buy it. I'll have to try it. Oh, I forgot the price on these. These were $75 plus tax. And at a price like that, I couldn't pass it up. So I spent less than 100 on both of those pickups on that day. But this one almost breaks the bank. This was a retailed $180, and I paid $180, and it's like, ouch, ouch, it hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. So, this is the navy colorway of the, what are these called again? I don't think they really have a name. I already forgot the name, other than the fact that they are the Deluxe Air Max, with this air unit that goes all the way through the bottom of the midsole right there and this like fly knit material here not really fly knit but it, like um nylon almost and this is like plastic on this part this is 3m reflective and that is in fact like a color changing purple on the back here the inside sock liner i don't know if you can see it or much detail but it is kind of a fuzzy not felt but it's like, oh, it's so soft on the fingers. But when you put it on foot, can't even tell the difference. It just feels like a normal shoe. That's why I kind of wanted this shoe. I love shoes that are so comfortable on the inside. I'm a sucker for it. When I saw this with this like fuzz on it, I was like, I gotta try it. Put them on feet. I've worn them maybe about a hundred steps, not very far. It is so tight right here on the top of the foot. And it might just be the lacing, but I just, don't like this shoe as much. Those other two, grade A. This one, I'm gonna have to give it like a B minus because it is cool. I kind of like the styling. It is hard to pair with an outfit. I like this toe box here. It's gonna keep it very protected, make it last a long time. But looking at these shoes on my shelf and wearing them and just not liking them, I'm actually gonna take these back to Nike and return them. So wish me luck on that. It should go just fine. Nike returns go really well, and it's Nike. But yeah, that was before all the Black Friday stuff. Uh, it wasn't on sale or anything like that. Just wanted to include it in this video. But now we are on to the things that I picked up on Black Friday exclusively. So everything except for two items over here from Hollister are from StockX on their Black Friday deal thing where they had a crazy deal where it's like, if you purchase something on Black Friday, you got an email, and on the app it would show you a prize. You would win a prize, and that prize could include things like a fresh pair of sneakers, $10,000 of credit, or anything from $2 off your order to half off shipping. And that was something that they threw out to a lot of people. Very few people won actual products, and if you did, Definitely leave a comment down in the, the comment section below. Tell me what you want. I want to know who won a pair of sneakers. Like, how fucking hard was that to do? Because that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to win some sneakers. I did, in fact, win a StockX hat. And I would be wearing it right now if they actually send it to me. It's been four weeks now. It says it might be about eight weeks. And it was kind of weird. I um, got it. They said they would be sending me an email in the next two days about the hat. 
It's a snapback black hat with StockX logo on it and never got an email on it. It was kind of weird. So one of these sneakers, there was something a little off about it and I got an email from the StockX inspection team about it. And through that conversation, I asked them about the hat and there's like, oh, we just got so much of them. Don't worry, it's coming to you. We just haven't been able to send out the email. So if you've experienced anything like that, let me know in the comments below what's going on with that. So let's just move on into the things that I actually bought. Now, because of that deal, I was wanting to buy a bunch of things that not only were on my wish list, which is thousands of items long, but were cheap. So I could take my money and spread it out. So if like, one purchase didn't do it, I wasn't gonna blow $500 on just one awesome pair of sneakers. I was gonna spend like 50 here, 100 here, 50 here, 50 here, and just see what, what happened. So that ended up working to get me the hat, and on every purchase I got half off or $5 off, things like that. So it works out. But this is the first pack that I got from StockX. This turned around and I got it in like four or five days. This is an NMD box, and that is the colorway there. I'm gonna pull them out. I believe it has a special name. What is the special name? It's like shock purple or something like that. The tissue paper has Adidas logos on them in this like almost cream color. It almost looks like a glow in the dark. Every StockX purchase that you make comes with a StockX tag. I've already taken the tag off of these. Um, a pick thing to tell you to take pictures of it, and a sticker. Thank you StockX for sending stickers. I'm addicted to stickers, and why not support? So this is the NMD, it's not the R1, is this the R1? Yes, this is the NMD R1. So it has a little bit more technology than a regular NMD, but I took these, I un them already, I wore them to round two, in Richmond, Virginia, which was an awesome experience, by the way. Shout out to everybody from round two. But I wore these there, walked around for maybe about four hours on the streets of Richmond. It was an awesome town. I would totally suggest you go there. And I gotta say, these are hella comfortable. The only thing that I don't like about them is this liner here around your ankle. It's tough. It's kind of stiff. So I'm hoping uh, wearing them more and more will wear them in. So. You definitely feel the boost around the heel of your shoe or your foot. Up here, the boost is really thin. You can almost feel the pavement through the boost. So I don't know if I like that as much, but um, still very clean. More than for hours, walked around on the city streets and you can't even tell. They look brand new. I like the hit right here of Adidas on there. It's very cool. Something about StockX. Some of the shoes you can take and spin round. This was not one of them. This was all I saw on the website. And for a price tag of $50, I was like, yeah, I wanna try these. I wanna try some Adidas NMDs because I've heard so much about them, gotta try them. I got the shoe and I was actually blown away because of the Adidas tag right there. I was like, wow, that's awesome. I didn't even notice that this was also that kind of shock yellow. I was like, wow, that is so cool. And these stripes right here are 3M reflective and so is this black Adidas tag, you can kind of see it lighting up a little bit. Just to my eyes, this is flat black. Like that is flat black. You can't see that without like looking at it in direct light. Let's pull out both of them here. So yeah, these are them. Very interesting color combination. I love electric colors like this, really bright colors. They're hard to style, but I choose a lot of things that are hard to style. This almost matches this Nike shirt that I'm wearing here, which is really cool. Changes colors when you pull on it. Got this from a Nike outlet. Very pleased with this, like less than 10 bucks. This was when I was in Orlando. That was about a month ago. Getting off track here. Yes, these, I like these for $50. Can't go wrong. All right, moving on. We are actually going to open up some boxes here. Yeah. So, there are three boxes here, and I don't know what's in them, so they might be a little out of order, 
but we'll go through them together, shall we? Yes. All right. So these are, you can almost see it here, these are the Gatorade Like Mike Jordan 1s in the orange colorway. Ooh, the box has like, I don't know if you can hear that, an interesting texture to it. This is not your traditional Nike box. This is a very different orange. There's actually like a hit of green down here too. There's some other um, Like Mike sneakers that came out in this pack that were that color green, but this is definitely orange. Now for the Jordan ones, they came in four colorways, all like Gatorade colors. Gatorade. I got the orange ones because I do really like the color orange and I have a few things that I can pair it with. Not only that, but this was the cheapest of all the colors. Now if I had my choice, I would buy the electric blue. It's the inside. Oh, this is so cool. But yeah, that electric blue is so cool. I have to get that. So here's my return label. Here's my stock X take your picture thing. And this is the sticker they give you with every purchase. So I'm gonna be using that later. This is the tissue paper, kind of like bubbles or something. Right, let's check it out. There's not just one tissue paper, there's two. Oh, yes. So this one comes with, okay, this was actually the product that I was talking about. There, there was a problem with it. These sneakers actually come with a towel, a hand towel for like drying Gatorade off your forehead, something like that. And this was sent to StockX without the towel. And I was like, okay, whatever, I don't really need the towel. And they're like, we'll give you a $20 off credit of your next pair of sneakers. I'm like, that towel's worth that much? Fuck it, I'll take it. So I used that on another uh, box that's here. So we'll go, we'll get into that when we get into that. Pull these out. Ooh, this has the Gatorade hang tag there. Oh man, these actually smell good. When you're buying stuff from StockX, you can't really tell if uh, they've been worn or anything like that. There are ways you can keep your shoes brand new looking and still wear them. And I do know of those things, but oh well. I still like to buy things from StockX. There's something stuck on here. Whatever. This leather quality, oh man, this is so nice. I keep hearing people say it's like, oh, it's shattered backboard quality. It might be. It's definitely a tumbled leather. It's very, very nice. You can see there, it's the Gatorade logo. It is always orange on all the colors. The blue makes it really pop. This one, it kind of just blends right in. But I like this orange. It comes with these orange laces, which are untied. Shoe tree, Jordan shoe tree. Definitely looks like a real pair of sneakers. A lot of fake sneakers going on out there. If you guys got fake sneakers, I'm so sorry for you, but StockX is good about that because they verify everything that's sent to them. All these laces come with this like hard, it's not metal, it's a rubber aglet sneaker, uh, verb, uh, sneaker vocabulary of the day. That's what these lace tips are called, aglets. I learned that recently. The inside it says, be like Mike. It's a green inner sole, I like that. On the bottom, probably my favorite part, is a translucent orange bottom, it says Gatorade. The other colors have other translucent bottoms in that color, but it still says Gatorade underneath. So nice. All my uh, Tennessee Vols fans also enjoy this color. This is definitely the color of the Tennessee University in Knoxville. So that's one shoe. Spending a lot of time on these because these are definitely the first time I've seen them and I have an outfit I want to wear them with tomorrow for a Christmas party. It's going to be a very orange outfit as you can tell. So we got some white laces here. I think the white's going to look really good. They have those rubber aglets on them as well. We got some green here. I'm surprised these bags don't say Nike. Sometimes they do. There is the stock X tag. No, oh, it's been verified. These are still laced like they were brand new. 
This one's a little undone. Like somebody stuck their foot in them just to see what they feel like. That one says Gatorade on the inside. So Gatorade on the bottom and a little Gatorade there. This is how Jordans all come to. They come with just one strap down the center there so you can lace them yourselves do whatever style you want to do I like that because I like to do different styles on all of them a little sticky why is it sticky this one's sticky it's not really sticky okay <sighs> something about the smell of new shoes is intoxicating when I was younger I used to collect uh, Pokemon cards and even now I still collect and play Magic the Gathering, opening up a fresh pack of Magic or any other trading card game just gives you that smell. Sometimes packs of Magic smell just like Pokemon cards used to in the 90s. Oh man, it's addicting. All right, so from that $20 that I got back from the shoes, which those were $99 on StockX plus shipping, hell of a deal because they retailed at 170 when they were really hyped and somehow the hype has fallen off I don't know why because it's a really nice quality Jordan for $99 you cannot go wrong that's outlet prices there so saving 80 bucks just about off that so off the $20 that I saved off that I got these Ta -da! and if you know you already know this is a Ultra Boost box, and this will be my first pair of Ultra Boosts ever owning. So I'm going to try them on and wear them. I might even wear them tomorrow before the party, just so I can be like changing out brand new sneakers. It's like, oh, that feels so good. So these are the Ultra Boost Climas in a shock yellow or yellow way, colorway. This says $200 on it on StockX right now. I was. I think right now they're still at this price, but I was definitely able to pick these up for $80 on StockX. And with that $20 off, this came to 60 bucks. So 60 bucks for a pair of Ultra Boosts? Damn, you can't go wrong. I really hope these aren't women's size 11. I'll be a little fucked. If they're men's size 11, I'll be fine. Another StockX sticker. Ooh, oh man, these look pretty good. Again with that electric color oh man oh they're so light too so these are the Clima edition ultra boosts which have much bigger holes and air holes for even in the cage right there there's a bunch of holes this is for running and hot temperatures your feet won't like sweat profusely because they will be almost air conditioned by the shoe it's very nice with the white outsole i kind of prefer a black outsole but it's like if you put a black outsole on this, you'd be kind of not doing it justice. I think if they put this like yellow color on the bottom, that would have looked really cool or at least blended it in there like they did with the new re-release of the reds. They're like um, Boost Week, I think was last week and they re-released some OG um, Ultra Boost 1s, uh, triple blacks, which I hope they go down in price because I'd love to have a pair of triple blacks to wear to work. Uh, right now, those are just so expensive. They're like three or four hundred dollars. And to see just a regular Ultra Boost like this go for less than a hundred, I was like, yes, I gotta get that. Just feeling this right now. This sock liner, so soft. Oh, that feels so nice. But yes, they have a kind of like a hard kind of. I want to say this is like three D printed plastic to protect your heel back here, so it doesn't move around. This material right here is boost, just like on the NMDs, but this is like a little bit thicker, even in the toe and middle foot regions here. It's very thick. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I think these are definitely brand new. I don't think anybody's worn these. Let's pull the other one out. Yeah, not even this one. This is them. They look so good. They look so good. I'm going to have a small collection of uh, these StockX tags. I've got at least two of them. They're sitting over there on another pair of shoes that are just like 
they're so uncomfortable I can't wear them anymore. But it's kind of a joke to put the stock X tags on them because they're like 20 years old, those shoes. I'll grab one of them at the end of this video if you stick around. But yeah, that's the Ultra Boost. Love this box too. Whenever you see people and they're like doing sneaker videos, they got like a wall of sneakers behind them. You immediately know what that is when you see it compared to like just this like orange Nike box. It could be any Nike in it or this blue Adidas box. It could be any Adidas in it. More likely it's like kind of a general release one. The blacks, you know they're NMDs and this one, you know it's an Ultra Boost. So very cool. Thank you StockX for helping me get that. This is the last footwear item. I know what this is because I've opened it already. I just couldn't wait to get into it. But this is a pair of slip-on uh, sandals or slides from Nike. And they retailed at 50. And I bought them online for 50. I just could not pass them up. Look at this box. This is a slides box. This is what they come in. Very tiny. It's like a Converse box. Look at this holographic Nike and you know oh yeah there's another one right there nice little hit very nice very nice these are the Benessey JDI fanny packs wait till you see them you will understand why they're called fanny packs oh no come on box oh. can't stand to damage my shoe boxes Still got StockX information with it. Very nice. Now these sandals come in a dust bag. Awesome. Can't go wrong with that. Let's open them up and pull them out. And out of all the loud shoes that I've had so far, can you guess what color these are? Ah, oh, they're louder. Oh my God. Oh man. So these are so light, so comfortable. I needed a new pair of slides because I've had like these New Balance slides for almost a decade now and they are just wearing out but these are so comfortable on feet i um, looked online you might have seen they said size 12. i am a size 11. i go in between a little bit all these sneakers here are size 11 and they fit true to size so if you want, well i don't know about the ultra boost or the jordan ones yet but i've tried on jordan ones in size 11. they fit just right so I'm going to be happy with that. And I did try on Ultra Boost in store, not those particularly, and a size 11 fit just right. The NMDs fit just right. Um, I'm currently wearing very dirty, need to wash Air Force Ones. Now the only thing that it's not true to size in my closet is these. These are a 10 and a half Air Force Ones and they fit fucking perfect. So if you're going to get those, get them like that. But I already mentioned all that because I looked online about slides and everybody says go a size up when it comes to slides. And I was like, a size up is $10 less. So yeah, I'm gonna do it. So these are a size 12, huge compared to my head. Oh my God. And my foot comes to about there. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a little too big for me, but when it comes to a slide, why not? It's not gonna be that much of a dif big difference. And because of the non-adjustable upper here, my fit fits just per, my foot fits just perfectly. And of course, can't ignore the fanny packs. You could put anything in here. You could put a small wallet. You can definitely fit your keys in here, money, anything like that. So you're going to the beach. You don't want to carry stuff in your pockets and then jump in and forget about it. Let's just, uh, I've got my cell phone here. Let's see if a cell phone fits in these. I can almost guarantee you that it's not going to. It's not going to fit. All right, so you cannot put your cell phone in there, but you could definitely put your hotel room key or credit card in them and be just fine. Love these. I actually have a pair of swim trunks that will match these, kind of, sort of. But of course, now that I have them, I'm gonna have to buy lime green swim trunks to go with. Anything that bright just makes me look extra white. So I don't even know why I do that, but oh well. So that is all the footwear from StockX. Bought those for 50, paid just about retail for it. This is the last item from StockX, probably the item that I won the hat from. This is a Supreme skateboard deck. And this will be my first time buying Supreme. 
from StockX, so let's see what it looks like. By doing that, I popped off the sticker that was like covering my address. Whoops. Oh, what? Okay, so here's the bubble wrap that comes with all StockX items. Here is, ooh, another type of sticker. I've never seen this one. It's like a black box logo sticker. Oh, what? Okay, so, <laughs> it says, uh, Supreme, fuck you. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. So yes, this is the Supreme, fuck you skateboard spelled out in fingers there like somebody's doing a gang sign or something like that this is not bad this is not bad i've always been curious about the supreme skateboard decks just because i knew supreme started as a skateboard company and even in their first few years they didn't have skateboard decks because they were just a like a place that sold skateboard shoes and skateboarding equipment in new york city and if you knew then you knew and this one is actually recent, like um, during the fall months of 2018. There's actually a fucking box logo in here, which is so cool. Add to my box logo collection. I had two from that Supreme hat, this one. So if you ever order anything on Supreme's app or online, they will send you a box logo. Now that I have so many of them, I'm gonna do something special with this. If you're still watching at this point right here, stick around to the end to figure out how to win this. It's gonna be giving away box logo sticker. I definitely wanted to do that in this video and I had one laying over here. Now I've got an extra one, this is just great. I'm pulling it out. Oh yeah, there wasn't a tag on this one. There was a sticker, a stock X sticker. I guess you gotta find creative ways to put that it's been verified on there. It's stuck. All right, this video's gone on forever. Let's just get through it. There is an interesting scratch right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, what does that say? World famous Supreme. I like this kind of wood right here. The design is very nice. I didn't notice that I had, the guy had a cigarette in his hand. That's great. Doesn't smell as fresh as a brand new pair of sneakers. It does smell fresh, but kind of uh, like the process they use to apply this to it. Kind of stinks. This is very cool. This is probably not going to be skated. I might skate it. I have skateboards. My skateboard is currently over there. It's all skated to hell and back. I was thinking about making this a wall art piece or um there's a video where paul rodriguez shows off his sneaker collection and in his house he has shelves made of skateboard decks of course his skateboard decks because he's a professional skateboarder he's got his own but the best i can do is buy them so i purchased this for 49 dollars plus shipping and handling on StockX and won the hat and whatnot and on um, on Supreme's website, this was still selling. So uh, it hadn't even sold out like a lot of items do. Uh, so this was $49 for me, and I believe it was $49 on the app or $48 plus uh, shipping and handling. So I paid basically retail for this and didn't really like the design the first time I saw it, but I kind of like it. The other colors were as a pink and a blue one. The green was definitely my favorite, so I'm glad I picked this up. And now, I might just skate it, see what it's like. It's kind of heavy, not the lightest skateboard I've ever held, and there's some really good skateboards out there, Enjoy and Element, and there's another company, what is it? They have like helium in their board. I forget what it is. I think it's like almost skateboards. Definitely want to support those guys. But yeah, that moves away from all the other uh, Supreme and footwear items. The last two items I have here are from Hollister. Hollister had like a big special on Black Friday and I have their app and with notifications on. So it's like I receive emails and notifications about every sale. I like their jeans and things like that. 
but yeah. This was a free, you got this with every purchase on Black Friday, so I got this. Just a tote, not too bad. And you can always use a tote. Save the planet, don't get plastic bags at the Walmart, take that with you. There's a lot of places out in Los Angeles, and even in Austin, Texas, and New York where you just can't get bags, so you have to bring your own. So that's handy as hell. I got it with this purchase here. This was a Hollister jacket. Uh, I don't know the name of this one specifically, but I saw it. It retailed at $140. Up here, it's got the fox fur in the inside. I paid $70 for it. I was very pleased with it. It's got the uh, kind of hoodie style sleeve cuffs there. It's got a zipper, very nice zipper and buttons. So you can like double secure yourself in there. Probably never gonna use those buttons, but it's not bad. It's got uh, Velcro around here so you can like put it on your head and wrap it around and keep yourself warm. This fur right here, having it like right around your face, this fur almost gets in your mouth. And I, I've had long hair, it's gotten in my mouth. Uh, totally had flashbacks wearing this, but that fur is on the inside of the hood as well. This thing is my new go-to jacket. It came just in time too for the winter. We had snow a few days ago here in Tennessee and it basically shut almost everything down for, I wanna say eight hours after that. People just adjusted and adapted. But I was snowed into my parking spot. I had to get like a special ride to work, it sucked. But yeah, I would wear this to work if I could. It is that warm, it is wonderful. So that is all my pickups I spent a lot of money, too much money, recently on sneakers, footwear, Supreme, and things like that, but you can see the smile on my face. I am happy. I'm happy with the purchase that, uh, purchases that I made. What is that on my neck? Yeah, whatever. So, we are now here at the end of the video. Um, I just want to give a quick few words about something that's been going on in my life uh, currently going through some personal problems, not with myself, but with somebody very close to me. And I just want to give a quick word about depression and anxiety and how much they can not only hurt the people that are dealing with them, but they hurt everyone around them and how to just talk to people. If you are suffering with depression or anxiety and it just think just suicide is not the answer. Uh, it's terrible. Uh, when I was younger, I had severe depression and anxiety problems. My mom also had depression and is something that I've dealt with my entire life to the point of where it's, I've just put it as far back behind me as I could. Um, but you can never really put it completely out of your life. It's always going to be there and you just need somebody to talk to. Don't stay quiet about it. Talk to people. Talk to your friends, talk to your family members, talk to professional help. And uh, this video is not sponsored by anybody. It's not sponsored by StockX or Nike or Adidas or Supreme or anybody. I don't think Supreme sponsors videos. But there is something that I've seen sponsoring a lot of YouTube videos, and that is a website called BetterHelp. And I would totally suggest that if you have any depression or anxiety problems, things that you just having trouble dealing with, check them out. It's at betterhelp.com. I will put a link down in the description. I'll also put a link down to StockX, and uh, if I can, I'll link some of the items that you see here. I don't want to promise that I'll link all of them. Um, it's for the for the majority of these items will be here, except for those uh, Nikes that I showed you that I didn't really like, the Deluxes. Those, I tried to put them on StockX, but I don't think they're even there. But yeah, depression's serious, talk to somebody. Just wanted to mention that, give it a shout out. YouTube is full of happiness and people just trying to show, it's like, oh, I got the best lifestyle. I mean, look at me, I'm buying sneakers, I look happy, I'm spending my money on stuff that I want. Yeah, I am pretty happy. But it's not always about me or yourself. There's other people in this world. There's people around you and 
they might be going through something. And if you don't know how to deal with it, just dealing with it on your own doesn't really help. So find ways to handle the situation because even people like myself, like, I just want to fix everything by myself. You can't always do that. You need help. Just want to say that. Y'all need help. <laughs> Not y'all, but some of y'all. Anyway, this is a Supreme Box logo sticker. You do get these for free with every purchase, but I've seen places, especially I think Japan, Japan has a bunch of Supreme stores, so these little stickers are everywhere. But these are kind of cool. You put them on your car, put them on your skateboard, put them on your laptop, go to school, people be like, oh, you're hype beast, yeah, whatever. Or they'll, they'll know that you're in the know and that people will like get to talk to you about StockX and sneakers and stuff like that. It's huge on the internet right now and I've just kind of fallen straight into that watching the sneaker YouTubers. Give a shout out to my boy uh, Christian on Sneaker Talk. Go fucking check those videos out. They are amazing. His travel vlogs, uh, his sneaker reviews, everything like that. Uh, Kais Omar just passed a million subscribers online. Uh, definitely go check him out. I'll link these guys down below. His sneaker content is quality. Even uh, Christian's, he's like 23, 24. And these guys edit videos and vlog like Casey Neistat's. Like they are fucking good. So give them a, sh a check out. Just by watching uh, Sneaker Talk and by watching Kai Omar, you will immediately start to fall into the other sneaker YouTubers and just like, you'll see them in their videos. Um, Jacques Slade and other YouTubers, Seth Fowler. These guys just make great content. They're not only reviewing sneakers, telling you whether or not they like the sneakers, is it a good buy. They're also talking about the resale market. Now, a lot of these sneakers I bought were definitely for myself, but I have been looking, of course, into sneakers that go up and down and resell and just because I like to get things for a deal I don't want to pay over retail all of these sneakers were under retail except for I think uh, these Adidas and those $180 Nikes which were kind of a mistake I shouldn't have bought those I did take an L on another pair of sneakers I think I was trying to buy the rookie of the years and I took an L on them like I just didn't get them so I was like oh fuck it I'm just gonna buy another pair of sneakers that I've been having my eye on so I bought those shouldn't have done that but yeah, I think that's everything. I have talked for almost an hour now, so if you've stuck around to the end of this video, you definitely deserve something. So I am not only going to send out this Supreme sticker, I'm going to send out this Stock X sticker to go with it, the hype beast extraordinaire on your laptop. So yes, I'm going to give these two stickers to somebody that comments down below Definitely just comment down below to let me know that you made it to the end of the video. Um, just like, there's a lot of things people can guess and just comment down below, but comment Chinatown Market down below with exclamation points or something like that. Also, not only that, but tell me what you, your favorite pickup from all of this was. It could be the jacket, it could be the Jordans, it could be the Supreme Skateboard. Tell me what you would buy, uh, what was your favorite, uh, what was the ugliest thing that I bought. Doesn't matter, just tell me. I'm definitely interested in talking to all of my subscribers and any new people that are coming just to watch this video because I've done unboxing videos in the past but nothing about sneakers, nothing about streetwear, and I am definitely getting into that now. So this will be my first video on that. So yes, if you would like a free Supreme or StockX sticker, I will send it to you personally in the mail with cardboard on both sides so they stay nice and fresh. At least uh, that one StockX sticker, I'm going to use the rest of mine and that Supreme thing. I, I uh, It feels like Christmas right now. I just opened up all these gifts and Christmas is coming up so StockX is definitely where you need to buy your Christmas gifts. Another plug to StockX. Don't know why they should pay me. But yeah, StockX for watching this. Just pay me in sneaker credits. Like, I'll buy it. But yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry for this, edit this video isn't edited and there's no music in the background. I am getting back into YouTubing and definitely putting this up 
and watching it and like cringing at it, even though it, hopefully this isn't that bad and you stuck around all the way to the end. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video now. Guys, tell me what your favorite sneaker was. This is probably my favorite sneaker. This is my first pair of Jordan 1s too. I'm excited. The only thing I'm not excited for is getting these all creased up. But it's gonna happen tomorrow. It's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Go out there and buy a fresh pair of shoes for yourself. You deserve it. But yeah, again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You're watching the Senior Whoopi IRL channel, which stands for In Real Life. And yeah, this is me in real life. I have a shoe addiction. Even the bottom smells pretty good. Yeah. Peace, guys. Have a great day. Ta-ra.